Hello, and welcome back to Earthbound. It's been a while. A really long while. Like, over a month or two kind of long while. And I apologize for that. I did record this previously, but my program acted stupid, didn't save the data, and I got really angry at it. But now we're back. We've got a new recording program. I'm curious to see how many of you will even know the difference. But, I'm sure you will notice the audio quality is a lot better now, everything should be fine. Shouldn't have any more issues with audio and syncing and crap like that, like everyone's mentioned in the past. So hey, everything's good again. I'm excited to be playing this again. My problem is my headphones are being stupid now. Paul is now level 18, offense speed, IQ, HP on him. One PP of five. Well, at least she got PP. That's good. That sounded so wrong. Um, I'm not about to waste my time going and spending money at a healing station. Why did I call it healing station? Hotel. We're not gonna waste our time going to the hotel. Let's just take this guy on now. I don't care. Because this big tent here is our next boss fight. He's pretty freaking easy, really. Especially if we use the big bottle rocket. And I will also mention that PSI fire is effective against him. Don't use ice. Look at that! One hit from the bottle rocket and he's gone. That's simple enough. And now Jeff's level 14, offense 1, HP of 3. Jeff's level 15, offense 2, defense 1, luck 1, HP of 3. That works for me. And now we got a trash can. Ooh. Check it out. We got ourselves a jar of fly honey. Yeah. Very important item. Let's go. Let's go to check out some dumb star. I forget what they have. So. Oh yeah, I forgot that Jeff would use that. That's a helpful item to have equipped. How did we never buy that for him? I don't even know. What was I doing a month ago? There we go, copper boost equipped too. Beautiful. You, you're the one that sells food. We're not. Apparently. Alright, let's just exit the drugs for a minute, because they're not going to do us anything useful. The bakery! That's where I wanted to go. The bakery's always got some nice fresh baked food for us. Yeah, bakery. I will figure out my headset yet, because it's been bugging me lately. But that doesn't matter to you guys at home, or wherever you're watching this from. It just affects me, because it's kind of annoying trying to play a game, and you can only hear half the sound. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, now for the rest of this, because... Oh hey, a trash can I missed. How did I miss that? Skip sandwich. It's always helpful. Not really. That bad is real noisy, man. Those ghosts. Yeesh. I couldn't even go near it. Of course, he's talking about the Runaway 5. Oh yeah, there's Apple Kid. That's who I was waiting for. So he can give us our zombie paper. Because it's like fly paper, but for zombies. <laughs> He's so clever. Just in case there happen to be zombies around, not that I've ever seen them or anything, this would be helpful for that. Oh, foreshadowing. I like that he just came up from behind us. Was, oh, hey, I was delivering this pizza and then some guy came up to me. He's like, hey, go find Ness and give him this. 
And then I decided I'm your mess. I'm gonna give it to you. Those And then he gives it to Paula. That makes so much sense. Here you go, Ness. Here I have this item that I was randomly given by some person I don't know. I just walked into the side of that bus stop sign. I'm looking for another fight first. Why did I totally mispronounce that word? Fight is what I meant to say, not free or whatever the fuck it is I just said. Oh yeah, sneak attack. Take out that ghost. Plus, you can never have enough experience. Extra experience is always nice. It's just beatable. Oh no, mini ghost. That's not good. I will figure out my headset yet. Alright. Chef's level 16. Offense 2, defense 1, speed 2, guts 2, vitality 1. Oh, baby! IQ of 4, luck 1, HP of 6. Nice job. Now let's go back to the tent. Yeah, tent. I almost didn't go to the tent for a second. Almost headed to the hotel instead. I don't want to go to the hotel yet. First, we go in the tent. We ignore all these idiots that we don't care about. Put down the zombie paper. Yeah. Now you're thinking with portals. Well, not really, but... Yeah, sneak attack. Yeah. Too strong for him. Extra experience, all the same. And now we can go to sleep. Yay. Sleepy time. And story. Ooh. It actually is a story triggered event that you have to go to sleep with this point as well. Because once you go to bed with the flypaper in the tent, all the zombies suddenly decide to go to the tent. Why they wait till you're asleep, I don't know, but that's the game's logic. So now, we still have this mini ghost, I'll get rid of him at the hospital. First, we're gonna have to talk to this dude because he's all like, "Oh, we still have those zombie herald papers instead." The boogie tent fell. Oh no! Oh no! And now we head outside, and things are not all normal yet. Those poor zombies. Now we go in the tent, you can see zombies everywhere. I wonder if those zombies are stuck to the floor to get me. Yeah, we don't care about you anyway, dude. And now we can go to the hospital to get rid of this stupid mini ghost, and then we can progress with the story. Because that's always nice. I believe it's him. Purify? Yes. Purify. Gets rid of the ghosts. As I remembered. Alright. Next, I'm gonna... I guess we'll save. Don't see why not. We're making some good progress. Never hurts to save the game once in a while, just to be safe. And I trust my new recording software enough that I'm going to save the game a little more often. That would have been a bad idea if I'd picked end right there. Because then I would have had to restart where I'm at. On that save point. That would have been fun. Let's go to the cemetery. To that area that was previously locked. By zombies. Well, it wasn't really locked, but it was guarded. But now it's no longer guarded. Because we got rid of all the zombies. They're gone now. They don't bother us anymore. But the town still needs our help. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a long trek ahead. 
very long and frustrating trek. Oh no. No, no, no. I am not dealing with that. Whoa, too many enemies. And back in the door. Whoa, shit. Not good. Oh, good. There's only two zombies, not zombies and a dog, like I was afraid of. That's good. That's not good. We don't want Jeff pitching the hole. I can't get my headset to work still. Yay! All is now level 19, offense 1, luck up 1, HP up 2, PP up 1, Paula realized fire beta, hell yes! That's a very helpful attack. And we got a skip sandwich deluxe! No, not the dog, not the dog! Ah, oh, we got the dog too. Ugh. We'll wait a minute to use her sweet ass new psychic power. I want to get rid of all these troops first. Yeah, I got rid of that zombie dog. Everyone's gonna be coughing and sneezing, that's not fun. I'll have to get rid of all that. And that's gonna cost more psychic points. Level 24, oh baby! Offensive 3, defense 2, speed 1, guts 2, vitality 1, IQ 2. Luck up one, HP up ten, PP up six, realize hailing beta, Jeff's now the seventeen HP up two. Man, you get me all hyped up with Ness's level up, and then you give Jeff a little lame level up like that. Ugh. That's just disappointing. Really disappointing. Alright, now we go on forward through this door. Whoa, way too many zombies. Not dealing with that. Not cool, not cool, no, no. Oh, that's good. Just put the zombie, the ghost right there, that's fine by me. Alright, one zombie I can handle. One zombie is all I need, I don't care about the ghost. Yeah, healthy. Oh, wait a miss that. Are you kidding me? I gotta waste more psychic points. Freaking jerk. All because Ness had to miss. Oh, now she gets to smash it. A little late for that. 234 experience. And a silver bracelet for Jeff. In fact, yes. Let's let him use it. I don't care be helpful. Now we move on. Right into a battle, that's ideal. Not really. Not ideal at all. No, don't you dare call for help, that's not allowed. Oh, that's good. Just seven damage. Hoping for more than that, but great. Just gonna have to waste my freeze attacks now. Because I have a boss fight coming up and I have to waste all my psychic points trying to kill these damn enemies I don't want to fight. It's always my luck. It's more experience, but it's not what I wanted to do. Alright, now we can actually go forward. Still have you now. And actually, I'm gonna stop it right here. And we will pick up next episode with that little piece of shit up there. See you all next time with more Earthbound. Lord Pichu Pal signing out.